Well, today we're going to think about balloons. Well, you might think that's a very funny thing to think about in Bible stories. But let's see if we can find some similarities. Well, they come in all different colours. I've got red ones and pink ones and yellow ones and green ones and blue ones. All different colours. And some balloon balloons even come in different sizes. But what can we use them for? Well, like this, they're not much good, are they? Can't do much with a balloon when it's like this. But what do we have to do with it? Well, we have to blow it up. We have to put air inside it. Then we can use them for parties to hang up. Or we can use them to play with in a game. And I've even seen some people go up in the air in a, with a balloon. Big balloon mind. Wouldn't mind trying that. Sounds fun. So let's see if we can get some air into our balloon. Oh, I'm not doing very well. Perhaps I need a bit help. Well, we put that on there. I've got a little machine here that blows up balloons. Let's see if it works. Oh, yes, look at this. That's fabulous. Look how big the balloon's getting. That's absolutely great. Oh, that's big enough, I think. Well, then we can tie them together and hang them up or we can knock them around, but we have to keep hitting them, don't we? The balloon doesn't actually do anything all by itself. And sometimes we're a bit like that, you know, it's hard for us to do things, isn't it? And we just, oh, I wish I could do that. And I feel ready, but oh, sometimes, you know, we just have to let go and see what happens. Wonder what happens when I let go of this balloon. You ready? Whoa, where did that go? Wasn't that fabulous? It's right over there. But Misha got a shock there. Well, that takes us to our story. Let's see if we can find out how that balloon can help us understand about God. Our story today is the last in the series of when Jesus was meeting people, especially after he rose from the dead. And you know, this was the last time that the disciples would see Jesus in person. And he told them something very special. They were very worried and very concerned and very sad that they might not see Jesus again. And they were worried about how they were going to do the things that he asked them to do, to tell others about him, to be witnesses, and to feed and look after the sheep of Jesus, the people. But you know, Jesus told them this, don't worry, the Holy Spirit will come to you and give you power. I'm going to send you a friend, a helper, a comforter when things don't go so well. That's the Holy Spirit. And when I've gone, I will send the Holy Spirit to you to help you do all the things I'm asking you to do. And after Jesus had said that, something very, very strange happened. Are you watching? Oh, Jesus rose up disappeared into the clouds so they couldn't see him anymore and they kept looking looking to see perhaps if he'd come back but he didn't and two angels came and said it's no use looking up there he's not coming back yet he will one day but not yet you go and do what he said and so the disciples went back to Jerusalem and they waited and they waited and they were all together <clears throat> in the little room 
And they were talking about all these things and what it would be like. What was this Holy Spirit? What would it be like when it came? And just then they heard a noise. What's that noise? That's terrible. And then there was a wind. Whoa, whoa, what's this? What's this? And after the wind, they looked round and they saw something very, very strange. Above each of their heads, there was a little flame. Can you see it? A little flame. Above each of their heads. And you know they started to feel different. The disciples. Were a bit like this when they entered the room. Nothing really much happening. Let's see what happens. When they're filled with the Holy Spirit. Are you watching? Something is going to happen. Watch very carefully. Can you see? Well, that's different, isn't it? The stars are moving. They're going round. Can you see that? That's fabulous. It didn't do that with this one. But mind, there's no flame in that one. But there is in them. Oh, they're getting faster and faster and faster. And that's a bit like us, you know, when we have the Holy Spirit in our lives. Something happens inside us, gives us the power to do things. And how can we get this Holy Spirit? It says in the Bible, anyone who asks the Lord for help will be saved. Will be saved. Be saved from all the wrong things we've done. But you know, then it goes on to say this. Let Jesus change your life and heart and be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This is God's promise to you. Wow! Well, after this, the Holy, the Holy Spirit coming into the disciples, they wanted to do something. They wanted to get up and do something for Jesus. And so they went outside and they started to talk to the people. Don't forget, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And the people came and they listened. They came from all over. There was Egyptians and Greeks, all sorts of people. Put the people in. What's happening? Can you see? What's happening? Can you see? The raisins are going up and down. Whoa, look at that. They're dancing in the thing. They're so excited. And you know why? It's like the people, the disciples were telling about Jesus. Because they got so excited that they had Jesus to help them. And they also got the Holy Spirit. And wow, things were really hotting up. It was absolutely fabulous. And they thought, well, how can these simple men speak all these languages? Well, we don't know whether they were speaking different languages or whether they were just opening the ears of the people. But everybody could hear the message in their own language. Wasn't that amazing? That was the Holy Spirit. And we too can have the Holy Spirit. Because it's one of God's promises. This is God's promise to you. And you know there's something special about God's promises. He always keeps them. He never breaks them. 
he always keeps them. So why don't we let Jesus change our hearts and lives and be forgiven and we will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit because this is God's promise to us. Oh, the song this morning is about, guess what? Yes, it's the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. 